Hello, welcome to week five of our weekly wrap up of the year of Granny Squares Cal that I'm hosting. We are working from the book A Year of Granny Squares by Kylie Melita and we are making one square a week. So we um, this week were making filigree lace, which is this lovely square here. Um, this was our first beginner level pattern and um, I think for the most part I think everyone's really enjoyed it. Definitely my first time working up a square like this and um, it was a little bit wonky until I actually put, started popping the border on but um, it came out really nicely. So very much enjoyed that one. As usual I have put together a little slideshow um, for um you to all have a look at at the wonderful squares that everyone else is making now i know that there are a number of people that are also making it that are not sending in their squares that's quite okay you can just play along at home quietly um that's absolutely fine and i know that there's some of you watching the videos that aren't even um making the squares at all but you're just enjoying watching everyone's squares so welcome to you um, let's go with the slideshow, I think, and then I will pop on at the end and I will share with you my next square, um, for week six. I'll see you in a moment. enjoy putting together those slideshows and I love seeing everybody's squares and um, I'm getting to the point now where I can tell whose belongs to who because of the color palettes or perhaps the backgrounds that you use um, but I'm trying to be better at popping the the pictures in to my um, little Canva thing straight away so that it doesn't become a very big job at the end. But um, I hope you're all enjoying it. Now, one thing I also will show you, I have fully finished um, my remakes of the squares uh, that I had made in acrylic. So I'd started last week on Rose Hip, which was week three. Um, so there we go. I think it's so pretty. Again, I'm carrying this darker pink color throughout um, so that there is um, some continuity with the squares. Uh, now this week, sorry for next week, but this week I did make week six, sorry, yes, week six, week six, which was another beginner level pattern and that is Sweet Violet. So... I'm not sticking to the colours from the book. Um, I'm just going with my colour palette, which is I can choose from my seven colours. And as long as I am using the dark pink in there somewhere. So there we go. So this is the first time I've used a decent amount of white, but I think it came up really well. It's not blocked, which is why the corners are a little, a little wonky. But um, again, it's pretty much pretty much exactly the same size as say first bloom they're very similar 
there's really only definitely Aqualesia was a little bit a little bit smaller um, and possibly the first one which was Spring Kite they are marginally smaller but it's okay um, yeah so there we go um, what was it called Sweet Violet so that's what everyone is making in the next week um, we have one more to go uh, before we hit another intermediate level one so um, I'm really really enjoying it so far and I think most of you are as well so that is it for now uh, thank you everybody please do remember if you are doing the cal and if you're if you just are not enjoying one of the squares or if you're having difficulty we can have up to five swaps so you can choose to make something else uh, from the book if you yeah if you're just not feeling it um, as I've said way back in the beginning you want we want you to be enjoying the process not hating it and wanting to put it down so yeah change it up if you would like to that's it for now I am getting ready to go on a little getaway and um, it's not going to affect my cal it might affect my Sunday video I'm not too sure but this getaway is much needed so um, yeah thank you all for being here and I look forward to seeing you either Sunday or next Thursday evening that's it bye for now